There are several reasons why I have to be the luckiest guy in the world. Uh, one of them, uh, first of all, is just uh, is just being able to um, play for you uh, wonderful instruments that are made by builders who are very, very good at what they do. <coughs> Excuse me. The other reason why I've got to be the luckiest guy in the whole world is that Eric Devine, who in anybody's book is acknowledged to be among the best ukulele builders ever, among the best ukulele builders in the universe, um, is a good friend of mine, uh, and, uh, and I get to share one of his ukuleles with you. Uh, the first thing I'd like to tell you about, uh, about this ukulele uh, as as you look at it, because it's um, it's koa, it's koa as you can see, has a side port, koa back, and sides. And as you look at this ukulele, um, it looks like it looks like a brand new ukulele. But I gotta tell you, this ukulele is six years old, uh, and uh, and so it's had a lot of time to uh, to to vibrate and push this wood around. Um, and develop to the point where it is right now, which is a wonderful ukulele. So looks-wise, it absolutely looks like a divine, and one of the things I really like about Eric's uh, design uh, is that his ukuleles are very, very well balanced. Sometimes uh, we experience ukuleles where uh, there is something going on on the top or the fretboard or, or even uh, uh, the headstock that is uh, that that pushes the uke out of balance. And what that does is it attracts our attention, uh, but not so Eric's uke. Uh, it looks like an ukulele. It has terrific sound, and in a little bit I'll, I'll, I'll play a song for you. But one of the things I want to tell you that I really also like, there's nothing to dislike about an, an Eric Divine ukulele except not having not having uh, uh, the ability to own this you uh, but it's available anyway the other thing that I really like about uh, this ukulele is the action uh, which is the playability it is so light and easy to play and as uh, as my left hand moves up and down this fretboard it does so comfortably and chords like this, uh, that some may consider to be a complex chord, are very, very easy to hold on the ukulele and don't require that I put a death grip on that neck in order to play a meaningful chord. And of course, sound. How can you, how can you deny a sound like that? Listen to this sustain and how crisp and clear that sound is. And this one. And this one. And you know what? Eric Devine is a great trainer. He trains all four strings on instruments that he makes uh, to cooperate very well uh, so that when all four are played together, it results in what we call good blend. And you notice as I play these various chords, you don't necessarily hear one string trying to stick out. And the chords are very, very well defined. If I play something like this, and we go, oh, okay, let's do something about that. If I just change one string and go here, that's doing something about it. And if I change one more string and go, here, that's doing something about it as well. And if I change just one string and go here, we hear a completely different sound, a completely different harmony. And so, and so there's so many wonderful things about this ukulele, but the, but the best way to experience an Eric Divine ukulele if you're not playing it yourself, is just listening to it. Let me play something for you that I think highlights this ukulele.
it's not only wonderful sound, but this ukulele has incredible dynamic range. Whether it's played softly, or loud, or medium, either way. Beautiful, beautiful sounds. Thank you.